All right, so you are thinking about moving to Des Moines, central Iowa. And honestly, you've got your options cut out for you. I remember when I moved here two years ago, I felt like there were so many suburbs, so many neighborhoods to choose from. Des Moines is mid-sized metro, um, but it's pretty unique, I think, in that you can get just about anywhere you'd need in 30 minutes. So it feels like you can live just about anywhere. So then the question is, well, how do you choose where you want to live within the city? Um, today, we are gonna be showing you Grimes, which is one of the smaller suburbs. This right here behind me, this is James Grimes, Mr. Grimes, as it were. Kind of a creepy statue as you're driving in from Grimes on the south side, but also really cool, I think. Um, yeah, so Grimes is on the smaller side of the suburbs in Des Moines. It is growing rapidly. They're at about 16,000 population right now, I think. Um, as far as like geographic size goes, you can get from the southeast side of Grimes to the northwest corner in about 10 minutes. There's some traffic sometimes on 141. We'll talk about that more later. But it is I'm a little biased. Grimes is my absolute favorite suburb. I love it. It's got the small town feel. You're still close to everything. Plenty of amenities like the world's largest high V, which is pretty awesome. Here we are at the, the south Grimes sports complex right now. This is about 45 acres out here of baseball diamonds, softball, soccer, um, tennis courts, pickleball, sand volleyball, playground. They have events here on occasion. The fall festival is held here every fall, hence the name, and that's mostly geared towards kids. But yeah, what we're doing today is we are just gonna be showing you around the great city of Grimes, Iowa. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. So my name's Matt, I'm a real estate agent here in Des Moines, and I make these videos not because I like recording myself, I actually really hate recording myself, but I make these videos to be a resource for you because when you're moving from out of state to Iowa, it is so important to be able to have confidence in where you're gonna live and be able to know what's gonna best fit your lifestyle. So if that's helpful, um, you can check out some of the other videos on my channel. Uh, you can give me a call or shoot me a text anytime. That is the main reason I make these is because it allows me to meet awesome people, new clients and new friends who find me on YouTube, which I never thought I'd be able to do, but it is tons of fun. So please reach out if there's anything I can do for you. Let's go take a look at Grimes. This is the South Prairie Elementary School up here on my left. It's one of four elementary schools in the Dallas Center Grimes School District. So Grimes and Dallas Center, which is another smaller community out west of here, northwest of here, they combine to form the same school district. So there's one elementary school in Dallas Center. There's three in Grimes. There is South Prairie, Northridge, and Heritage. The school district is, is really, I mean, the, all the schools in the metro, I feel like, are really quite good. We are ranked here, I think, 16 out of the 45 in Des Moines, and then something like 30 or 40 out of the 500 in the state of Iowa. I apologize, I don't remember those stats exactly. There's a 16 to one student to teacher ratio, which is right on par with the rest of the country. But as a whole, the school district definitely has a smaller feel than say when you go to Joaquin, you've got two high schools, soon to be three. Or if you're in Johnston, even Johnston still has one high school, but they have a few different middle schools, quite a few elementary schools. Grimes is on the smaller side of options for um, well-funded and well-regarded school districts in the Des Moines Metro. Where I'm at right now is the true like downtown of Grimes. It's pretty small and there's there's not like a ton to do here. I'll give you a better view out the window. Mostly we're just looking at like local bar and grill. Stevie C's up here on the left is, is really sweet. Just has a cool towny bar unique feel inside of it. They've got a dog on their logo too, which gains respect points for me. Um, so this is the downtown at Grimes, but there's a lot more to this community than just what it what it used to be many years ago. It was this downtown and it was all these houses that I'll show you here in a second. It has grown so much. This neighborhood that we're gonna drive through here now, these are houses that are anywhere from like the low twos up to the mid to low threes. And um, later on in the video, I'll show you there's some very, very expensive houses in Grimes, very like higher end neighborhoods. At least I would consider them to be much higher end. But we're gonna take a look, um, take a look at some houses. So 
to that house right there. Um, had the privilege of selling that to good friends of mine. Shout out to Joel and Kara. Uh, this just a few months ago, and they bought that for two ninety five, I believe. Just tell you that to give you an idea of what home prices are like in this neighborhood on the southeast side of Grimes. It is a walk out ranch, three bed, two bath, really nice house. I mean, not like fully updated. Still a little bit of work to do there in one of the bathrooms, but very well taken care of. Um, high quality place. Love it. Well, that is too bad. Did not know this was closed. Find a find a different way to get where I'm going. This here, Heavenly Delights. That is it's close for the season, but I would consider that to be the best ice cream in all of Des Moines. They don't make it in-house, but whoever they source it from, fantastic. Um, and then also just the atmosphere. You can go, you can order from the window. We bring Phil, our dog, all the time in the summer, spring and fall. Everyone's friendly there. It's just, it's great. It's a small town ice cream shop. That is maybe my favorite single destination inside of Grimes, besides Besides Light Bright Coffee Roasters, of course, which is the best coffee in all of Des Moines. Not necessarily the best espresso drinks, but for black coffee, for roasted beans, that is where you want to go. Shout out to Matt at Light Bright. 
Um, so right now I am in the intersection of two of the main through streets of Grimes. So just about as central as you can get. This up here is a new splash pad and park they put in not too long ago. It's beautiful. You've got the old library right there. Grimes really does a good job, I think, with their community events. There's not a ton of them. Uh, they'll have stuff in this like town square area every once in a while. They've got the fall festival every year down at the South Sports Complex, which is where we started out. Um, what else do they have? They have a concert series that they do up north in Heritage Park. They have a community garden. You can reserve a 10 foot by 15 foot lot for like $15 a year, I think. Um, and that mostly covers it. Their website is really good about updating all those events. I think what a lot of people, including myself, love about Grimes, I've said this already, is just the the small tight-knit community feel of it. It just feels like a small town. And also I realized too, I'm probably repeating myself a lot. Jim is not with me today. He's he's busy this week. His clients come first as always. Um, and so do mine, but so just recording without him and I am noticing I am not nearly as good as talking and keeping things clear and <laughs> concise when Jim is not here. So I apologize for that. Uh, this is a, a neighborhood back here of houses just when you start to hit the northwest side of Grimes. Um, I have a friend who owns one of those that backs up to the splash pad and he bought it two years ago for 190,000, I think, and did some remodeling there. It's a split foyer, it's a three bed, two bath, or he added a bath and now it's worth about 245,000. So there's just tons of growth happening here in Grimes. I think it's a pretty sought after place, this older part especially because the houses are affordable and people like living here. Um, next here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around and get back to my car. We're gonna go out east over to 141, which I've been talking about a lot of the good parts of Grimes. 141 is probably the worst part. I'll touch more on that when we get out there. Um, yeah, like I said, I feel like I'm not nearly as good at talking through all this stuff without Jim, without someone being here that I can talk to. But, all right, let's talk commute time. So when you live in Grimes, if you're trying to get downtown, it's really gonna depend if you're on the southeast or really just south or north side of Grimes because of 141 up here, which I'll touch on in a sec. South side of Grimes, you're looking at about 18 minutes to downtown, north side, anywhere from 28 to 30. Traffic obviously can slow that down. If traffic's light, your trip's gonna be faster. All, you guys know all this stuff about traffic anyways, not about the commute times. If you're going to West Des Moines, you're looking at like 20 minutes. Norwalk, down to Norwalk is 30. Over to Altoona, that is also 30. Out here on my left, this is the previously mentioned world's largest high V. Here, we'll see it better in just a second. It is massive. Um, if you are out in Grimes and have a chance to check it out, you should. And, and I know world's largest high V is also the Midwest's largest high V because high V is not anywhere besides the Midwest, to my knowledge, anyways. But it is huge. They have a designer shoe warehouse in there. Um, a couple of, no, just one, a wall burgers, but it's very nice. It feels like a mall. You can't run in and out in five minutes, but for shopping in Grimes, you've also got Fairway. Over this way, you have Aldi up here. You've got Walmart, um, Menards for a hardware store, also True Value back in that downtown area. So there's a, there's a lot for the size. It has a ton of amenities and it really serves everything that, that you could need. I, um, restaurants, you know, there's a couple of really good restaurants here. Mima's Italian Grinders, Rolling Walk, Asian Cuisine. Those are both fantastic. Mimas has great hot sandwiches and pizza. Rolling Walk is really good um, Chinese oriental pho. It is, th those are both amazing. Um, anyways, I'm rambling right now. This is 141 and I am just waiting to get onto the on ramp here. So 141, 141, ah, 141 <laughs> runs north and south through Grimes. It is uh, pretty busy. They recently expanded to add another lane, which helped, but I know I, I have some clients who have moved to Grimes, love it in Grimes, but when they're commuting to work every day in West Des Moines, it, it gets to be a bit of a headache because you'll see when we get onto here, traffic is gonna be too bad right now, it's 220, but when you hit about that like 3.30 to four all the way through six o'clock, it is somewhat stop and go. The stoplights get pretty far backed up. It can just be a nuisance when you're a small town Iowan that doesn't want to deal with traffic like this. Give you a better view of it here.
So we are now, we're now in the north part of Grimes. Lots of really nice developments out here. I mean, commercial, there's a really nice looking church right there. There's Al's Dairy Freeze, some good soft serve. Uh, there's an indoor sports complex and gym over here. And it, it just it just has a really nice look and feel to it. I think the city planner did uh, an absolutely fantastic job with this. But I'm gonna go, oops, what did I do? Sorry about that, had some technical difficulties with the camera. Um, what I am doing now is I'm gonna drive you through some of the higher end neighborhoods in the north part of Grimes, just some really beautiful homes up here. Anywhere, this neighborhood up here, like starting in the low fours, then we're gonna get up to like the sixes, sevens, eights, and, and even above there. So some, some really, really nice ones. house we just drove past there. I had the privilege of helping sell that one this past year. That one was 650000 is what we got that sold for. Really beautiful uh, Genesis custom-built home from 2016. Some of those houses I just think are unbelievably gorgeous. Just, just super cool. Uh, that's where I'm gonna wrap up today, guys. If you have any questions at all, 
about grinds, anything I missed in this video, anything I can clarify on. If there's anything I can do for you, if you're considering a move to Des Moines, anything at all I can help with, please let me know. You can reach out via text or call anytime. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really, really appreciate it. I would super appreciate it if you could hit the like and subscribe button. That just helps me out a ton, means the world to me. And that's all I've got. Thank you.